Hi, this is Jim, and uh, I'm going to show you real quick build on a Bionicle action figure. This is a mock uh, one I designed. This is actually the very first one I designed. I'm just going to throw it together for you really quick and show you a few pointers on how these things go together. Uh, first thing I got here is this torso piece, and it's got uh, balls for the arms and that's about it. There's nothing really for the legs or for the head. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build onto that and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger um, so that there's more places for it to have attachment. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take these Technic uh, three-hole beams with a pin and I'm going to drive them into the shoulders of the torso. And then I'm going to take this beam that I already have some pins put into and that's going to snap into if I'm uh, not mistaken it's going to snap in like that okay that's on there and then I have this ball, Technic ball, on a pin, and that's going to become my head, place for my head, head will snap onto, so that goes up on the top like that. And then that gives me, let me see how does this go on. This piece of armor, which somebody colored a magic marker, but it kind of looks like blood, so I'm going with it, is going to slip on over those two pins sticking out on the front. And if you see, they line up now, these holes line up here with the beams that I put in. And what I have for that is this little axle with a couple of bushes on it. And I'm going to slide that right through the whole shooting match there. And put the bush on the other side. Kind of space them out a little bit. So it looks like that. Gives it a little bit of uh, personality at the same time. And I'll do the same thing to the other side. Slip the bush on the front. There's our body. Now we still need a point for our legs, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this. I put some pins in it already. It's a, a sockets for balls, uh, ball joints. And then I have this Technic uh, T, I guess you'd call it. And that goes on over these pins like that. And it's got these pins sticking out the front too. And now our body is just going to go together just like so. Now we have our place to snap our legs on too. We have our head. And we have places for our arms. So we'll put that down for the moment. And we'll grab our head. Heads come in different styles. I got this one right here. This one's got kind of a funky little socket on the bottom as you can see it's got kind of a funky little face and then this mask has tabs on the sides which allow it to just slip right on and snap on some heads come with the uh, like a cross axle hole on the front and some masks will have a, a cross axle that will actually s snap into it uh, so some masks work with different heads you got to kind of find the right mask for the right head. And then we'll just put that right on our body. We'll take that mask off first. That might make it easier. And then we can put the mask on. There's our head on our body. We'll set that to the side. We're going to work on our arms and legs. First thing I want to do is the legs. And what we're going to do is we're going to build a leg just like this out of these parts here. This is our thigh. It's got this, this little horseshoe piece on the bottom. So 
what I did was you take take the shin piece, this white piece, and then you got another socket to socket kind of connector thing. And I snapped that onto one side around the horseshoe on the underside, the back side. And then I uh, put the other the other half onto the shin. Now, if you notice, this kind of makes it so it kind of bends it a little bit more than you would want for a knee joint. So what I came up with was this little thing here, which is just one of these deals uh, with a couple of red, uh, I guess you'd call them uh, two, two L axles. And by sticking it into these cross axle holes on the connector, now we have more of just a single joint, uh, knee joint, keeps it from moving. And we'll cover up this ugliness a little bit later. I'll show you what we got in mind to cover. Okay, so with both of our legs now complete, we can snap those onto the body. And they just go on like that. Then to do the feet, these are feet. I actually have four of these. Two of these are going to go on the shoulders. Now, as you can see on this one, we added this little socket piece right here using one of these and one of these pins. And you just put the pin in. And in this case, we're going to use one of these pinholes and we're just going to jam it in. Some of these feet come with a cross axle already inside it and you can just put the, the this uh, socket holder right, uh, right into it. And then we'll snap those on and then we got our feet. And now he should stand up. How about that? All right. So now what we got to do is we got to do the arms. And here's one arm that's complete. Here's the other arm. We're going to take one of these, another one of these. And what we're going to do is we're just going to snap it to the forearm like, like that. And then, just like I said before, I have four of these feet, so I decided to use two of them as shoulder pads. So what I had to do was come up with a little configuration using this piece here and two of these long pins. And what I did was is I, I shoved up through the middle, put this on the top, and then this three-quarter pin goes in the middle so that, let me see, make sure I get this right. Okay, this goes on a three-quarter pin like that. Gives it a little, makes it look more like armor and takes the foot look out, off of it. And then with those two pins, that just snaps right on those two holes in there like, like that. And it marries together very nicely. And then we can put both of those arms on our, on our body now. Which leaves us just a few odds and ends. Remember what I was saying about covering up the, the knees? I have a couple of these things here. And with just another one of these cross axle pins, we can snap both of those on. And those cover over our ugly knee joints. Make those look neat. And add a little character. Give him, they match his mask. I did that on purpose. Then you get these pieces here. These are hands. And these work very well to hold a lot of different things. They just snap right on the ends of the arms. And then I got this match set of, they look like kind of pickaxes. I figured they kind of go with the, uh, the whole snow, frozen, frost thing. You know, like ice climbers tend to use pick pickaxes. And there he is. Whoops. And there he is. 
And this is my first bionicle that I ever made. And I'll have to uh, there he is. So I hope that this was uh, informative and uh, showed you some insight in how bionicles go together. Thanks for watching.